Welcome to Stamford Bridge for highlights of Chelsea's sixth round FA Cup replay with Manchester United. You have to go back a pretty long way to find Chelsea's last defeat in 90 minutes in the FA Cup. It was Barnsley who managed it in the 2008 quarter final. Manchester United came oh so close at Old Trafford. So that was quite a game at Old Trafford. Both Chelsea and United were in action over the weekend. The Blues slipped up at Southampton, while United took another step towards the title. That defeat piles more pressure on Rafa Benitez. Victory today, plus a trip to Wembley, would at least give the interim manager a bit of breathing space. Manchester City await the winners in the semi-final, so it's time for the action with commentary from Andy Townsend and Clive Tilsley. We were waiting for it, I think, weren't we? Because as Gareth said, we've seen it so many times before, the cavalry to arrive, but it yeah. didn't really no, come didn't to pass. No, it didn't materialise. And actually, second half in the first game at Old Trafford, Chelsea um, took the game to United. Do you, any, any criticism of Rio Ferdinand at all there? Well, or do you just you, have, sometimes have to say that is a brilliant finish? I think as a centre-back, you always come up when there's a goal like that and you think, I should have, I should have matched the run of Demba Barra. Good reaction from Hernandez as well, wasn't it? Important game, big game, but still able to, to put it all in perspective. The yeah, he, the he looks a kid that plays with a smile on his face. Just a final quick one for Rafa Benitez. He'll want a trophy on his CV. Chelsea want top four. There's an interesting dynamic hmm. between possibly the two priorities there. Yeah, I think um, the whole club will want trophies. So the double's gone for Manchester United. Chelsea's own treble, Champions League place, Europa League and FA Cup is still on. Bye-bye. Good evening. There may not be any English teams left in the Champions League, but in Europa we're alive and kicking. Over the next hour, we bring you highlights of all of tonight's quarterfinal first legs, including Chelsea's tie with Ruben Kazan, Newcastle's trip to Benfica and Tottenham's match against the Swiss champions Basel. Basel had more chances in the second half. <laughs> we, we saw that, but Tottenham with a deflection. Oh, look, you need a little bit of luck to win anything, so maybe Tottenham have had it tonight. So Chelsea in good shape. Newcastle with it all to do. Tottenham, this is a little bit 50-50, is it not, going to Switzerland? Yeah, I mean, it's a tough one. You would like us collectively to take the Europa League more seriously as a nation from the start? I would like to make sure first that we, the three teams in England go through. <laughs> we got sucked into it a bit, Champions League or, uh, or nothing else, as it were? I think we've got a little bit uh, dismissive. Um, of the Europa League when we shouldn't. Good evening. English team's participation in the Champions League is over for another season, but there are still some stellar names in the quarter-final lineup. Later on, we'll have action from the Allianz Arena, where last season's beaten finalists Bayern Munich are taking on Juventus. But we start with events here at Parc des Princes, where Paris Saint-Germain are playing Barcelona, and PSG have picked David Beckham from the start. Right, well, he can stay here as long as he wants, Andy, but how do you think? Bit of a surprise for some yeah. that he did start. How do you think he got on tonight, Beckham? I thought he did quite well. He was nice and efficient, neat and tidy in possession, as you would expect. It was a pulsating game, wasn't it, Gareth? It was a tremendous atmosphere. How do you look at the second leg now with that late equaliser in mind? Well, it does change things, no question. Now, Bass will expect to go through, but Messi, with this hamstring injury, we don't know how bad it is. It's three weeks away from the first leg of the semi-final. That's going to be clearly, when you've got Messi in your team, a big concern, that injury. Oh, definitely. And, and he's still a significant loss for them for getting through this game. Welcome back. Bayern Munich have been utterly dominant in the Bundesliga this season and they warmed up for this tie with a 9-2 demolition of Hamburg on Saturday. Juventus were the visitors to the Allianz, hoping to leave Bavaria with their European hopes still intact at the end of the night. Welcome to Wembley for the draw for the fourth round of the FA Cup with Budweiser. The Football Association celebrates its 150th anniversary in 2013 and this momentous year for the FA will see Wembley Stadium host not only the FA Cup final but also the Champions League final in May as well as England versus Brazil, Scotland and the Republic of Ireland. Some very special matches to look forward to. Right off we go then, gents. Dave Besant will be drawing the away teams. David Seaman will be handling the home teams. 45 clubs waiting to see what fate awaits them in the fourth round. David, if you could empty the balls from the famous velvet bag. Thank you to David Seaman and Dave Besson for their excellent work today. Right, before we go, a reminder that you can catch the FA Cup third round highlights tonight on ITV1. Ties for the fourth round are January the 26th and 27th. Thank you very much for your company. See you again next time. Bye-bye.